But the other one here, harmless little specimen, we'd say. Bus of students has just landed. Now, when I mention this machine, so she's heading for the heart. We are just out for preschool run checks, but we're just having a look around. I have two girls here all ready for school, and the little man grabbed his coat as well. He's mad to get outside, so of course we had to bring him out for a look. No, it's okay, Pat, she won't touch you. We have one sheep escaped here, and he's a bit scared of her, but she's okay. So, well, Baba, yeah, Baba. So something I just want to show you here. Here is a little lamb that landed here. You see the little baby lamb? Baba. No, he's sleeping, Pat. So this little, there's the other one in there. A tiny little lamb. So, I just decided to come in and have a look. I'll pop up the video here. Lamb with his head stuck in the bag. Pure chance that I actually found him in time. But he looks okay. So I'll get them into a lamb and pen when I come home from the school run. Now he's ready for school, girls? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Daddy, I uh, hate sleeping. Yeah, he's sleeping, Pat. <laughs> the boys are back. Thankfully, you have come back, lads. Didn't dog you too much yesterday. Oh, no, no. Good, good, good. They've come back, so we didn't abuse them too much. Now, Kian has just told me something. He's lambing away at home. So he told me something which is an interesting one. The problem with the yo that uh, lamb down, I was eaten or after about. Tell us what happened to you. I was out sucking the lambs with the residents all right and noticed the cleaning after birth was on the ground. She was had it in her mouth and she was choked on it. She's dead. And she's dead, yeah. yeah. So just whatever way she got caught in her, it usually never happens to other yos, but there you go. Now I've often heard of a cow after giving birth choking on her after birth or cleanings as we call it here. I've never heard of a sheep, but that's Neither an interesting one. So it was hanging out of her mouth. Yeah, and she had about, I'd say, three quarters off her dinner already, and yeah. just that last bit yeah. caught her then. Well, it's an interesting one. Now, normally I take them away, and it's just, it's not, I don't really mind them eating it, but after hearing that, I'm not convinced it's the best idea. Something I do wonder is why do they actually eat it? And, uh, Niall, you might be able to shed a bit of light on that as a veterinary student. Maybe not now. Uh, well, usually they're full of nutrition for them. Right. Yeah. But some of them will touch them, some of them won't. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the sheep I find now. Yeah. 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 Some ca you, the suckler cows you have, you yeah, find. Yeah, well, I do remove them. But so I do let if they, if they, they be eaten at them, let them look at it too. Yeah. But yeah. once they're cleaned out, that's the main thing anyway. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's the important thing. Yeah. The problem, I suppose, with a sheep lamb and. and she drops it off the pet and she eats it. You don't know yeah. if she's actually cleaned or not. Yeah, that's but, true, yeah. But most of them will clean. Generally, yeah. there's something wrong. But I'll just give you a look. This afterbirth is actually still in the pen here. Now, the sheep didn't uh, eat it, but you'll see it here on the ground now. Uh, so I do just gather them up here. And as I say, the dog does usually get them. The pens need a bit of a bed in here now. So I actually bedded them last night, but it's looking like, I was joking with, uh, when we were chatting about the slats about bedding twice a day and you know it's actually looking like I need the bed twice a day when you see this here. Yeah. It's surprisingly uh, wet. You're on slats at home, Kenyon? Slats, mesh slats, yeah. yeah. You're avoiding it's, this. It's good, but it's still it's far rather let the lamb down the dry bed and um, like yeah. Are you lambing down on the mesh slats? Yeah, so well, we try to avoid yeah. it. If we see the water bag, we try to take them as quick as we can. And you put them in the individual pen? Yeah, then? but if right. it's a hoggard, we try to let her lamb to yeah. save trying to adopt the back onto the old safe hassle basically. Yeah, yeah. I would far rather the straw on you, it's a lot cleaner and easier. Aye, yeah. Especially when you're kneeling down on it. Yeah. Like. But probably the downside to this is too many sheep in the pen, it's probably harder oh, to keep it clean. Same yeah. And the bedding stuff might be the best, I'd say straw might be worth that up. But anyway, we're saving a few pounds. Saving a few pounds. Now, I'll just give you a look at this sheep that lambs. Last night, you seen that earlier with the two girls. When I came home, I came home late last night, I came, I, something just convinced me to walk down the shed and found the lamb with the bag over his head. It was a close one, but I, the lamb is actually fine. But I let her lamb away, our second lamb, but a very harmless little specimen here. Very, very, very harmless. That's probably one of the smallest lambs I'd say I've ever had. He's a tiny little thing. 
Now, I think what happened this one is she's a hoggit. She came into the pen and she didn't eat meal for two or three days. So that probably didn't help her. Bit of a shock to the system. Let me know how you get round that. I know probably feeding a bit earlier would solve that where they got used to meal. But do you feed your yo lambs to have them used to meal? Let me know in the comments. It'd be great to hear from you. But I just, we might just take out this lamb here. Um, I'll just give that lamb to one of you guys here. Good man. I'll oh, we get this other lamb now. The other lamb is a better lamb. Here we go, this is the other lamb here. So a different, it's not actually a fantastic lamb, it's more like a triplet, and the other one's more like a quad or a, or, or, or a five one, but Mammy seems to love them anyway. So that's the one that had the bag over his head. He's fine, probably struggled a bit for air and he was slow enough to get up, so that's why I didn't take the second lamb, let her lick the lamb, but there you go, great sign, in sucking, wagging the tail. Happy days. Right, we'll get her out here and see if she'll follow me out. job we better do is get a bit of value down on these neighbors. That is a handy little lamb, tiny. So this sheep is a first timer, she's a wee hoggit, I know by her tag number, and she's a little bit smaller than the yos as well. So we're just gonna tip in here, we'll see if we can get in this way. So the lads are just bringing the lambs in. We'll give you a look at the lamb and pens here. It was a good sign when she's following her lambs like that. So we're just, with lamb and pens, with all the pens set up here, or all that we have for the minute, we might get a few more set up. So I don't know, if you want to stick her in the corner there, Key, and that'd be grand. So the next job, um, this is the first sheep into a lamb and pen. Next job is water and a bit of silage as well. So because I'm performance recording, I tag the lambs. Not at birth, but I generally wait for them to dry off. I don't like tagging them when they're real wet. It's just, it's another point of entry for bugs and bacteria with wet and soggy ears, so I don't do that. Um, so the next wee job is iodine. I'll let you boys do that there. This is kind of a half training day for when the crack really starts. Uh, so I'm using iodine. I know some people use the other one. Uh, I'll pop it up on the screen here. I can never pronounce it properly. Let me know what you use at home and the advantages and disadvantages. So that's the job. So that's dead on there. Now that's what I do. Just drop the navel into the bottle and give it a good splash around and it's a good help. But I do find a lot of people are convinced all the bugs that get it gets into the lamb's body to cause problems get in gets in through the navels. I'm not convinced. I think a lot of them get in through the mouth. Uh, I'm not saying that navels aren't important, yes they are. But I know when the pressure was really on last year, around the middle of the lamb, and there was a lot of them that weren't done with iodine. I put my hands up and say it's not best practice. But I had minimal trouble with giant tail or watery mouth. I think good quality colostrum is the secret. And then that is down to feeding and good body condition. Uh, these boys are still here. They're booked in to go to the factory. Hopefully we'll get them away today like to get rid of them, get them away from here altogether because we're going to have sheep and lambs out here very soon. So that's it, we'll get on to the next job. Now the little man was banging on the door, mad to get out again. You saying hello? Are you saying hello? He's back out now, it's a couple of hours from when he was out earlier. Yeah. He's just checking the sheep here. Are you keeping an eye on them? Do you want to see the baby lamb? Ah! Yeah. Okay then. Do you want to see your baby lamb? Come on in here, you can see the baby lamb. Ah, the mum. Yeah, go on in and see him there. Um. No. The mum. What like catch the baby lamb for you? Da da da. That's a queer hat. Da da. Are you a happy little boy? Yeah. Okay, 
Better get caught. Now what? You'll head back to the house, will you? Yeah. You're gonna stay out? Oh, you just want to go back to the house. You like the baby lambs? Yeah. Yeah, okay, we'll keep at it. Enya and, and the baby Ada, lamb. And the baby lamb. Turn them over there so you get a look at them Ada, the right way. This was the comfort of the lad that was born in the water bag. Tiny little lamb, but he's actually sucked. We were, we were going to tube him, but he's sucked. Noah, what do you reckon here? Show him over to Noah. Look at that. Pet him? Ah, lovely little lamb. Do you want to pet the baby lamb? Baby. Ah, baby. Yeah. Happy little boys. Do you want to pet him? What's that boy? Right, we better get him back. Better get him back in with his mammy, okay? Okay, right, we'll catch up with you in a bit. Now, the lads, Keen and Niall here, have just thrown the meal in the toss. Great time to see what's going on. This lady is just starting here. We're up and running. So the lorry's here to load these lambs, these ram lambs. We'll get them loaded. All right. Shh, 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 shh. Come on. Shh. Hup. Hup. Shh. Hup. Psst. Hup. Hup. Lovely job. Now, the bus of students has just landed here ahead of schedule and the lambs are just going to the factory. It is mad busy. <sighs> They're a bit early, but not to worry, not to worry. We'll accommodate them as good as we can. I better go and get myself cleaned up. I'm all dirty. We'll catch up with you in a bit. So around this time of year is when I laugh, all the sheep were in for three weeks. I'm trying to keep them out as long as I can and I cannot wait to get them out. The biggest problem that I'm facing is, it seems like quite a lot. The ones standing on the side are spreading all the bugs and disease and worms and all the rest. That is the first talk over. Uh, a secondary school, leaving Sarah students. How did you find it went? Oh, that good enough. It's all right, yeah. you, you were listening anyway. Oh, listening. Oh, very well, yeah. You were listening yeah, too. Yeah. All right. Never good that's the first talk over, another one in the afternoon. It's a good job we're not any busier, but we'll keep at it. So inside my straw chopper here, I see the blades are going very rounded here. You can see that, and no edge on it. I'm not sure if you can see that there, they're very blunt. I've actually found it very hard to drive in the last while, so we'll give it a bit of a sharpen here. Now, that's all the blades sharpened up here. That should improve things a lot. I found a little tractor has been under a bit of pressure. She's been working very hard and noticed the temperature going up a little bit. Combination of two things, it's the extra workload and this is another problem, dust on the grill. Now, the ram lambs that were in the shed broke out one day and broke a light on me poor little tractor, but we'll get that fixed someday, so. We'll get a bale in here and get a bit of bedding done. Now some people don't actually take the net off, drop it straight into the chopper, but I just wouldn't be the biggest fan of it. These bales aren't inclined to fall apart anyway. I just don't like the idea of the net going into the bedding.
Now, when I mention this machine running hot, it's not running hot, but quite warm, we'll say. You'll see it inside the green here. So she's heading for the hot. It's working pretty hard now, but that's sharpening definitely done a job in them. But you'll see why. Quite a lot of dust building up on the grill here. Really need to blow that out before every start, but she's doing the job for now. Fair play to it. She's a gutsy wee machine. Now, something worth showing you here. It's not ideal, and it just will point out that I don't get everything right. This little hogget here, she's a first timer. She came into the shed last Monday, and she was a shy feeder. She hadn't seen any meal, and that was probably for a few days. And every day I said, we'll leave her, and she might take to it today or she might take to it, but needless to say she didn't. And this is what she lambed down today. Now probably a day early. One very, very um, light little lamb. Mm, a little bit early, you just know by the little lamb, he's a bit mm, watery we could say. He has been up and he has sucked. But the other one here, was born alive but has since died. Just a very, very harmless little specimen we'd say. Probably less than three kilos live weight. So, the problem there is nutrition. She wasn't getting enough nutrition in the last week. As a hog, it's still growing herself. I, the mistake I probably made is that she didn't get fed as a lamb or maybe a little bit sooner. Let me know how you get round that yourself. How do you manage these younger sheep that aren't used to meal? They're the biggest problem I'll face now this week. Now they've all got on to the meal since, but this one in particular just struggled. She was probably four if not five days before she got eaten a bit of meal and then within a day or so she lambed and this is the result. But there we go, every day is a school day. There's always room for improvement. So the bus for talk number two is just pulling in the end of the lane here. It's a terrible wet day outside. I'm glad to be in here anyway. We'll open this door here and get the students in undercover. So bone talks are over, very enjoyable. Not only do I like working with sheep, I like making videos about sheep, but I also like talking to groups about sheep. I start to wonder am I kind of sad, but this is it. I <laughs> definitely enjoy it. So that is the talks finished today. Two talks. Pressure is not really on. We need to get them sheds finished, but we'll get to that later on. But enjoyable talks. I had planned on recording it, but I'm not sure if you would really want to hear me talking about how I got into sheep farming and all the rest. But let me know if it's maybe something you think there is the makings of a video in. How I built up the sheep farm from zero to what you're looking at here in nine years this is my eighth year lambing so let me know if you think there's a video in it it'd be great to hear from you so i just want to give you a bit of an update on my returns for those lambs that went earlier in the video so my returns just came here in the post and i know people like to see what's going on with the factory prices not bad pretty happy my lambs came into 3844 euro which is pretty good money some of those thin ones, those runtier ones that hadn't done well, were pretty light. I will give you a look at those. Thought they may have come into a few more quid, but still not bad. The lowest price I got was 154. The price per kilogram, 8 euro 35 cent. Best money I have ever got for lambs, and a nice time to get it too. But that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I would see you next time.